Hey Andrew, it's Dusty over here at German Auto Center. Just want to go over the things that we took care of on your car. Um, this is the valve cover leak we got taken care of. That's the new hose. Um, all that stuff's uh, been replaced. We try to clean up as best as possible. Obviously, it's hard to get it perfect. Um, we also got the oil leak on this area right here. Taking care of cleaning off as best as possible for that so that you can monitor that oil leak also. And then this is uh, the rear differential. We replaced that side seal right there. Um, this is the drain plug. We actually removed the drain plug and drained all the oil out to be able to replace that seal. Uh, any residue on the seal when we put it in can uh, uh, also cause a new leak. So we try to keep everything dry in there. That's the way we do it. So we replace that, clean this area off, take care of that, and then also advised uh, you that we did the uh, oil line. Um, when we did the oil stand gasket on the driver's side, Derek noticed that that, uh, that line looked like it was leaking. Uh, we want to try to take care of that now be, uh, due to the fact that it will save you labor in the long run. Uh, so we went ahead and took care of that leak and then obviously uh, he said that there was uh, one additional quart of oil that we had to use to uh, top your vehicle all the way off. So I want to show you that line that we had to do. Don't want, I'm sure you or just like me, you want to make sure that the thing is when we touch it, everything that we've done is back to normal. So, this is the oil line, it's a metal banjo fitting to a compression fitting on a rubber hose, and then it goes down to the back side of the oil filter housing and connects right there. You can kind of see the silver right there. So, that's the line that we did for that, um, and then we did the valve cover obviously and got all that taken care of. And that's about it. Alright Andrew, hope this helps and uh, we'll see you soon.